So in one of the previous episodes, I tried to mount the Vita control system with some double-sided tape. Well, that did not work very well. So in this episode, I'll be mounting the system permanently. Let's get to work. The first thing to do is to take apart the module and unscrew the mainboard. Where the mainboard screws in to the top cover, I'll drill four new holes for the new mounting screws. First, I'll be using a small drill bit for the pilot hole, and then a bigger drill bit matching the screw size. Then, put the two covers together, and where the new holes are, drill through them to the top cover. Some of the clips in the display panel are broken off, and therefore I superglued the front display panel to the top cover. Sewed off the remaining holding clips as they won't be necessary anymore. And slightly sanded them down. The lower steering wheel panel has to be removed from the car. I placed the system roughly where it should live and marked the first mounting hole. And drilled through it. Then marked and drilled the other three. Now the two covers and the main board can be put back together with the new screws holding them intact. and then screwed onto the panel. The panel can be put back into the car and the wiring loom reconnected. And here is the final result. As you can see, the Vita control system is fully functional and very firm in its place. Now I won't have to worry about it falling off whilst driving. Thank you for watching and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this.